that is created by design. I wanted to get on, as you know, real quick and talk a little bit about um, a couple of things that I would promise that I was going to talk about in this vlog. And I kind of wrote my notes here, so I'm going to be looking away a lot. Um, kind of want to talk about, uh, I did promise on cleansing, on healthy weight gain, on healthy weight loss because of a particular picture that I posted and this is the picture that I posted as you can see um, I've been losing a lot of weight um, I have put on a couple of pounds since then um, I have put on a couple of pounds since then but just to be able to um, maintain my balance on what it takes for me to sustain a life a healthy lifestyle um, but as far as healthy weight, um, I do want to talk about that first. But I guess, I don't know, I'll probably go more into the cleanse as we go into our um, 14 days of cleansing. It'll be a lot easier. So I'll share with you later on cleansing as I did promise um, on Facebook. But on today, I want to talk a little bit about um, healthy weight gain and healthy weight loss. Um, just like losing weight, gaining weight has to be... I do recommend that you consult with your doctor. This is not, um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you any medical advice. I'm just telling you based on my experience on how to um, get, get that healthy weight gain. Um, and you know, there are a lot of people that are in the United States. We are one of the um, biggest countries known for obesity, but at the same time, there are also um, some that are underweight. Um, and it's hard for a lot of people that are underweight to pick up those pounds that they need to um, fill out themselves, so to speak. But um, I think if you um, are losing weight, there are things that you can do to put on healthy weight gain. And you can do it in a great nutrition nutritional way. You don't you don't have to use um, you know get rich quick schemes to uh, promote weight gain. There are also healthy things you can do to promote healthy weight gain. And I put a couple of notes here. Um, my recommendations to gain weight: one, having meals with the right balance of proteins, um, carbohydrates and the right source of fat like unsaturated fat and um, mono unsaturated fats olive oils uh, canola oils pistachios almonds walnuts also you can make sure that you eat foods high in calories now there are cal empty calories we don't want to focus on those empty calories you want those calories that's going to help us to sustain a healthy weight gain um, also vitamins, of course, also you can take minerals and, um, that is so much more better than the sugars and the other fats that come from chips and cookies and candy and butter and mayonnaise, all the condiments of life and desserts of life that is t so tasty. <laughs> it, it's not good for us and we have to learn to eat those things in moderation. And we also have to learn those that are trying to get healthy weight gain or sustain a healthy weight gain that are currently at is to pack on more, more nutritious calories in servings. For like um, example, you can add like um, grated cooked eggs over your mashed potatoes, um, ground chicken to like your soups and your uh, gravies. You can add cheese and casseroles. Um, also, you can add cheese and like your eggs and your soups. And also non-fat dry milks can be added to like your, if you make homemade shakes or homemade mashed potatoes or homemade soup, you can add that also into those particular recipes. Um, also, if you get too full too fast, try having more high calorie foods um, or sliced foods as opposed to consuming the whole thing. You know, like um, they have raisin, I think raisin version grapes that you can eat, granolas and grape nut versus cornflakes, mango slices versus the whole mango. So, so that way that you won't get full too fast and you won't intake as much as you need probably 
because of getting gradually getting what you need to um, to put on those extra healthy calories and also make try to limit drinking beverages at least a half an hour before and after each meal because it causes you to feel fuller than you actually are also to get on a healthy weight um, you can do things like drink mixed juices like apple um, berry peach orange banana you they, they have so many drinks that are kind of uh, mixed up that will be healthier as opposed to drinking you know soda pop and just things that are not healthy for you I mean, if I'm not trying to tell you to eliminate all these things out of your system because for one, you're not going to do that anyway. And two, um, a lot of times you'll put your body into shock if you try to just go cold turkey unless God delivers you completely from that thing. But um, also, you can have fat. I don't want to just say eliminate all fat out of your system because fat is good, especially this time of year is cold and you need a little fat on us. You know, you don't want to freeze to death. So that fat has to sustain that energy you need to stay warm. So do it with moderation, but you can't do it. And also, if you're going to do it, make sure you do it with good fat. You know, there is things as good fat. And some of the sources, resources that you can use as good fat would be like um, avocado, if you eat that, olives. Um, also, fatty fish like salmon and mackerel are good, good fat that you can intake to uh, help you to gain that extra healthy weight that you are trying to sustain or you're trying to obtain. Um, as well, always, you know, you can't go wrong with PBJ. Um, you can't eliminate the jelly part, but peanut butter is a great source. A lot of um, athletes use it. I used to run track. I used to be very active and involved in sports. And a lot of times that you wanted to put on that extra protein um, came through peanut butter. Because, you know, protein is uh, solid. So it helps you to put on those extra muscle masses that you would need to sustain that weight that you need to um, have for whatever reason in the athletic arena. Always to do anything you're going to have to work at it it's not going to be an overnight process of putting on weight or sustaining a healthy weight um, you're going to have to work at it and one of the things I have found to be true is um, to put on that extra weight is to form muscles to get that muscle tone that you need um, that a lot of times it helps to make you more bulky um, and one good way to do that is working out, of course. So um, there are, I mean, I read a couple of articles and they have confirmed that, that having, if you want to pack on those extra pounds, it was a highly suggestion that you work out and you do that by, you want to make sure that you put, the weight you're putting on is more muscle tone weight and not fat weight. So working out is going to be a big deal in obtaining that healthy weight gain that you want to obtain um, and whatever your goal is for that and I'm probably not talking to a big audience but I just felt that I wanted to talk about it because you, I, don't, I don't know I haven't googled it or anything but I don't think people talk about how people that actually want to gain weight you know you see so many people on how to lose weight and how to look like Barbie but what about the people that are struggling on the other end that want to gain the weight and want to, you know, not look like Barbie, but they want to have those voluptuous shapes, but still be healthy. I wanted to talk to that audience on today and um, also just make sure that you're not only just working out, that you're eating healthy. Not that you're eating healthy, but you're also working out so you can get that healthy. So you can pick up that healthy weight and make sure that you're building more muscles than fat. That you don't want to just build all this this weight and it's nothing but fat. It's not going to do anything but weigh you down. You don't want an unhealthy weight. You want healthy weight that's going to give you energy. That's going to make you more alert. That's going to uh, it's going to help you just overall in your life. So. Also, along with those eating habits, just make sure that you're getting in that resistance training and also that um, aerobics training because you want to balance it. Because if you do too much resistance training, it'll make you too bulky and may give you too much muscle tone that you're really not wanting. The thing that kind of I want to talk about, if I have enough time on this, I might have to clip this a bit, but um, was the best time to work out 